or any other generation. The energy, the faith, the devotion which we bring to this endeavor will light our country and all who serve it. And the glow of that fire can truly light the world. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. So, my fellow Flintstones, now that you've heard the state of the city, now that you know about the comprehensive plan and our key initiatives, now that you have been updated on the war on blight, the fight against crime, our commitment to community schools, to jobs, to reforms, do not first ask what Flint can do for you. First ask what you can do for Flint. What will you do? There's much work to be done. Choose a starting point. Get started. Love your block. Love your city. Love your neighbor as thyself. This does all start with families, friends, neighbors, taking care of each other. March is Red Cross Month. We'll be working with the American Red Cross to become better prepared for emergencies. In April, I'm going to lead the Mayor's Wellness Challenge, starting with a community weigh-in right here at City Hall. Everyone's invited to join in. We can all be part of the solution for assisting families who are struggling with their utility bills by using the new Flint Income Tax checkoff for water fund contributions that will go to the United Way. Initiatives like these and more are featured downstairs in the Citizen Action Fair in the lobby as you leave. We need you to implement the master plan, safety, jobs. If you're ready to join in, would you please rise and stand with me now? As volunteers, you are our force multipliers. Collaboration is critical. And all of this makes our investments go further, creates more jobs, serves more families. The end to our Valley Forge winter is inevitable. The snow will melt. <laughs> A new season will come. The war is declared. The battle is in front of us. We are smaller yet stronger. And in Flint, we never, ever, ever give up. May God bless you, and may God bless Flint. Thank you, Mayor Walling, for the annual State of the City Address this afternoon. Thank you very much. At this time, I would entertain a motion from one of my colleagues uh, to place Mayor Dane Walling's State of the City Address on file. Is there a motion? So moved. It's been moved and supported. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, it is so ordered. Thank you very much. As we close this afternoon's meeting, I would ask Superintendent Quentin Marshall, Sr., <clears throat> pastor of New Life Tabernacle Church of God in Christ, to come forward and de deliver the benediction this afternoon. Thank you. Let us pray. Father, we come before your wonderful throne of grace this afternoon. We come to thank you for everything before we asked you for anything. You've been good to us in the midst of some challenging times. You sustained us when times were difficult. You united us and brought us back together. Now, Father, as we look to the future, 
We want to have your guiding spirit to take us to the place that will give us peace, that the barriers and the walls will erode that have kept us apart. For the Bible says where there is unity, you will find strength. Mm -hmm. Now let the weak say that I'm strong. Let those that are downtrodden say I grasp the vision. Mm -hmm. As we go forward and in the midst of what the devil thought was going to be a teardown, mm -hmm. the people have said I got a mind to work and we're going to rebuild the walls. Mm -hmm. Now, Father, give us strength to do it. Lord, let your Holy Spirit come in us and help us to rise up in such a way as never before. That our communities will be united on all fronts and that your name will get the glory. Now let your angels, as we leave this place, but not from your presence, be encamped around us till you bring us back again at the appointed time. In Jesus' name, thank God and amen. 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 Thank you, Superintendent Marshall, for being here this afternoon. Thank you. In closing, I would like to thank each and every one of you for your presence here this afternoon. And we greatly appreciate you being here for the State of the City Address. At this time, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. It's been moved and supported. We are adjourned.